uh, we saw a 25 member list that was um, released ahead the T20 World Cup. What do you have to say about it? So having a look at this week's top stories, I'm sure we have a lot to discuss. To start off with, uh, we saw a 25 member list that was um, released ahead the T20 World Cup. What do you have to say about it? Um, ins- give us some insights on it. Yeah, uh, so the ICC deadline is usually before the start of the tournament, before uh, like one month before the tournament starts, you have to name a squad. So what Yanga Pickett has done is uh, now um, pick a 25 member preliminary squad. So they um, uh, you can make the changes uh, within about a week before the start of the tournament. So uh, since we don't have many uh, international uh, commitments before the start of the World Cup in June, uh, they've picked this 25 member squad. Out of the 25 member squad, the five are uh, they are um, they are engaged with IPL. So um, the rest of the players they've been uh, practicing hard in uh, Sri Lanka. They've done their fitness trainings and everything. So uh, that's why before they pick the final 15, uh, they'll play a T20 series in Sri Lanka. Uh, it's like a home at home affair. They'll uh, have three teams divided into three teams um, that will be played at Kettarama where three of the games will be uh, day-night day, day matches and uh, three will be starting off at 10 a.m. because of the uh, time factor because some of the games Sri Lanka will have to play at 10 a.m. in uh, the Caribbean because of the whole uh, t- television audience because if you play at 10 a.m. only uh, people in India, people in Sri Lanka can watch it at the night. So um, that's one of the reasons. So they'll have those preparations ready, but um, they haven't finalized anything on the 15. I think uh, out of the 15, about uh, 12, 13 players, uh, anyone could guess. They perform well, the seamers, the spinners, you know the captain, you know who's going to uh, keep, you know who's going to uh, bet at number 5, 6, uh, stuff like that. But who's going to be your finisher? Who's going to be your third seam who's going to be your fourth seam so certain things uh, I think the selectors would want to see the form of some of the players so that's why the likes of uh, Barnab Rajpaksha and Erosion Dikwell they still have uh, got a chance Kusal Pereira how will they fit into this team so uh, all this will be um, closely monitored during this uh, three team T20 series which will be played at Ketarama from 2nd May to 11th May so um, you it will be a very interesting couple of weeks uh, leading up to the World Cup. Some of the uh, IPL players, they'll uh, return to Sri Lanka just for the visa process. They will not be playing it, but they'll go back to uh, the IPL commitments before uh, joining the team uh, in the US. So, um, as I said, very interesting couple of weeks. Yes, Tamit. Uh, also, we see uh, they've given importance for experienced players. What do you have to say about that? Yeah, I think that's where we lost. I mean... Uh, we all know last year's World Cup, the, the starting 15 was not the 15 which played towards the end. There was a lot of um, drama surrounding, there was injuries and then there was a lot of backlash because of uh, the experienced players not being a part of uh, the squad. So I think uh, Chief Selector Upul Taranga and the team, the coaching staff, they want to have a good mixture of experienced youth. They'll want to have uh, many options. You have. They'll want to have a left arm option. They'll want to have uh, an spin option, left hand, right hand combinations. So, so they'll uh, look at all these options. But I think yes, you need experienced players. You need match winners uh, in Sri Lanka to uh, make a difference in this World Cup. Indeed, Damit. As Damit said, you need match winners to win the World Cup. <laughs> <laughs>